a video about vintage electronic components. And I want to show here IF transformers, a tube tester, a delay line and more other vintage components. Here is that tube tester. I think it's from the 1960s approximately. And you could uh, test tubes by sticking them in with their pins into that socket. And then with a certain position from all these switches you could see on the meter here whether the tube was good or bad. Sorry about the constant zooming in and out from my camera. I don't know what it is anyway. So here all the tube sockets and a few knobs here to set I think uh, the voltage, the current etc. And on the basis of course from this instruction manual with test procedure etc etc. And of course leakage in the tube was an issue. And of course the amplification factor was also very important. For tubes that's also a very important indication whether your tube will work or not. Here another, a few other um, vintage electronic components and I pan over now somewhat and want to explain that later. So if uh, we have had the tube tester, the IF transformer is here. In fact now it's kind of vintage, but anyway now at 2017 we also have uh, radios that work with an IF frequency on 10.7 MHz or AM radios that work on 455 kHz. But there's a lot of things, there are a lot of things going on in the radio technology. For instance, software defined radio, etc. So, kind of vintage here. 10.7 MHz filter with very good properties, I'm absolutely sure. Very sharp filter, etc. The tube tester I've showed, here's the delay line. The delay line was used in analog television sets in the color unit or something like that. I don't know that exactly, but the delay line gave, gave um, a certain delay uh, between two signals that were added and were necessary to uh, uh, make the colors on the TV, the old analog TV, working properly. So this is a very old one, delay line from the 1970s. Here another delay line and here also. And here we have old capacitors. These capacitors are very old, so completely vintage, 0 0.22 uh, microfarad, 600 volts. I am absolutely sure that these capacitors are still usable, though I have some hesitations with these old uh, um, non-polar caps that have in fact inside a wet process. So I don't use I don't want to use this cap any longer. But this cap 
I'm gonna use surely this one also and this one also. Here there is a cap from the so-called Wima factory in Germany. Very popular, made very good capacitors in those days in the 1950s, but of course obsolete and vintage nowadays. And here we have a TV channel switch from the 1990s. I uh, don't have to explain so much here about that switch. Uh, they all switch the varicaps, variable capacitors, in a certain way that all uh, channels were reproduced on the TV screen. And here an old channel selector from the 1990s. I think it's from Eastern Europe. Beautifully made. Much respect for all these vintage components in which so much time was um, necessary to make them, to, to make them properly because the tiniest movement from the coils, for instance, could mean that the whole circuit didn't function any longer. So, a very good circuit, properly made. And here crystals, two crystals, and this is really a vintage crystal here. I hope it's visible now. Uh, like in a tube hood and inside you can see two pieces of quartz crystal mounted and um, that was in my opinion an absolute uh, an absolute good way to mount such a crystal. Really top technology here. In those days, the 1950s. And this crystal um, is with the metal enclosure from say 1940, 1950 or so. Anyway, that was all to tell about uh, vintage electronic components and perhaps I'm gonna make another video about these components in the future. Wish you luck!